Salve, benvenuti Hi, and welcome everybody It's time to have a look to Windows Vista We installed the beta 2 version and we tested it So we'll have a look to the best new features And there'll be a lot of great innovations First of all, the interface is all brand new A lot of 3D effects and lighting effects Thanks to the new 3D engine, you will see things never seen before Steve Ballmer, number two in Microsoft, said that this is the most important release since Windows 95 and having a look to this overview, you'll agree with him. All the code has been rewritten and we will see the results in terms of performances and reliability, networking, security and a lot more. We will have a look to many services and applications to touch the improvements. An operative system is just a platform for other applications to rely on. On the screen there are already running some images of the software we will see short in the future. Thanks to the new 3D engine, we will see great development of new applications and features by third parts. Let's start the overview with a feature maybe you don't expect, a speech recognition function that really works. Using this Bluetooth microphone, we will see something that really rocks. Start listening. Start Internet Explorer Close Two OK Stop listening As you've seen, we've started the Internet Explorer using just vocal commands Maybe you're wondering how to click on the address bar Obviously, it's quite simple to open up and to close windows or large applications. But, how can you navigate all over the visual interface? In Windows Vista, there will be a method you'll find very effective. Its name is Mouse Grid and we will mock it just pronouncing his name. Start listening. Mouse Grid. One. One. Two. 9 OK www.cnn.com Press Enter Stop listening Here we go, the CNN homepage As you've seen, we have virtually clicked on the address bar using just vocal commands You've already seen how it works Windows Vista divides nine sectors the screen and gives a number to them from one to nine. At this point, you can just pronounce the sector's number using your natural language to shrink the focus. So we can gradually reduce the area to click on. Then we just say OK and the mouse is virtually clicked. Now we will try to browse the web page using the same method. Start listening. Mouse grid. Four, two, okay. We have virtually clicked on that image, link it to the page we were interested to. So, as you've seen, we have used the interface without using the mouse nor the keyboard. More than 100 years since the creation of the first typewriter and more than 20 years since the adoption of the mouse as the universal input device, maybe we have finally found a new way to interact with the computer. Imagine using speech recognition with small devices or cell phone. How easy it will be to write an SMS or browse the web or whatever, just using the voice. Really a big step beyond. Thank you.